Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a no makeup makeup look, if you don't already know by the title. If you are new here, welcome to my family. And make sure that you subscribe and you know keep up with the next videos that will be coming. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Thank you for keeping up with me and my videos. And thank you for allowing me to share my life and my tips and tricks with you. So yeah, today's going to be a no makeup makeup look. This is basically what it is. It kind of looks like I have makeup on, but at the same time, it don't look like I got makeup on, but it looked like I did something to my face because it's like, girl, what you did? I don't know what you did. Mm. But yeah, this makeup, it would be so much better if my face wasn't breaking out. I don't know why my cheeks are like going, like they're going, they're having a party right now on my face. Better, but when my skin is 100% clear, this is it, okay? You can wear this to the airport, to um to the gym first day of school whatever it may be airport pictures or let's say airport pictures passport pictures whatever uh if you guys want to see how i got that then make sure that you keep on watching before we get into the video make sure that you like comment and subscribe i'm just gonna give you a second to subscribe okay i do this in all my videos if you're new i do this all the time just go ahead and subscribe for me please you did it all right great let's get into the video so let me get closer so you guys can see me. Okay, so the first thing that I usually start with is a moisturizer. Because most of the times when I'm doing my um, no makeup makeup, it is in the daytime. So I'm going to be putting on an SPF moisturizer. Okay, SPF is important. And the moisturizer that I'm going to be using today is the Dermalogica um, New Invisible Physical Defense SPF 30 Physical Sunscreen for All. I don't know if you guys can like... Okay, so this is the new Dermalogica Invisible Physical Defense Physical Sunscreen for All. This is she. Okay, so basically the physical SPF uses mineral sunscreen, sits on top of skin and reflects UV rays, ideal for all skin types and conditions including sensitive skin. Um, the chemical SPF, it uses chemical sunscreens, absorbs and transforms UV rays into heat, ideal for most skin types and conditions, and active lifestyles. Um, just to read, you know, the description, just make sure I have everything right. Our skin is constantly exposed to UV rays and blue light. UVA rays accelerate skin aging and can penetrate glass, while blue light found in sunlight, smartphones, and other electronics may break down collagen and darken hyperpigmentation. Invisible um, Physical Defense SPF 30 uses ultra sheer zinc oxide to defend against UV light and blue light. Its weightless, soothing formula blends to invisible Blend, blends to invisible on all skin types, so it is a great daily sunscreen for everyone's skin. Now, this is something new that I have basically learned, is the blue light effect on your skin. I've always known about UV rays and how harsh it is and the, um, the, 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 I've always known about UV rays and the damage and what it, the damage it can do to the skin. Now I never knew about blue light, so that is something pretty new that I've heard of. So um, I never knew that me using my phone and the blue light for my phone can actually, you know, cause hyperpigmentation and can um, affect my skin. I never knew that. That is something a hundred percent new to me. Like now I want to wait. I can't wait for outside to open up and see. Now my problem was I haven't worn, I didn't wear SPF a lot when I was younger because I was always afraid, not even younger, but a couple of years ago, I never really wore SPF because it always left like a white cast on my face and I hate it. Like I have an Aveeno one and it literally leaves a white cast on my face and I do not like that at all. So you see how like this like first white cast is here. Usually if I put on SPF, it stays like this. <laughs> so I don't know how this is going to, right now it's kind of leaving a very like blue, blueish mask type of feel. But let's see if it blends down as they say, because right now I look purple. <laughs> oh my God. It said it's supposed to blend down to be invisible, right? So maybe I put too much. This doesn't look invisible to me. All right. <laughs> this is not invisible to me. 
All right, let me just keep blending it in. Let's see what happens. Wow, this is not invisible. It's so nice. Yo, I look crazy. I don't know if I have like other oils or something on my face. It says invisible, like in person, I don't really see it like that, but I do kind of look dead. You get what I'm saying? Like I look kind of dead. This is not blending in. Because this one, let me tell you guys, this one that I get from Dermalogica, oh gosh, it doesn't want me to show you. I guess not, because I'm, I'm not gonna go all the way over there to get it. But that one leaves literally no cast. Like you cannot see it at all. I literally blend it in and you can't see anything. This one does leave like a, if you guys can see, it leaves like a purplish gray mask. It doesn't look so bad. It doesn't look so bad. I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't look so bad. I do feel like it has changed my, um, my skin color just a little bit so it looks a little bit more dull than how it looked in the previous video i'll try to put like a side by side so you guys can see but um when i'm doing this actually let me get my sponge so when i'm doing the no makeup makeup literally all i do is i just go over my discoloration so the main places that i have some type of discoloration that i want to brighten is under my eyes looks a little dull around my nose and around my mouth and then any other like blemishes i may have i'm kind of going through like I think it's like a heat rash type of thing that's going on because my room gets so hot at night. My super is just blasting the heat on a totally different level. I don't even understand. So I literally take one dot here, here, uh, right here, right here, right here. It's the first ones that I do. Then I spray my little sponge. This is the Natasha Denona sponge. No, not Natasha Denona. What, what is this? Uh, Sonia Kashik. There we go. It's a Sonia Kashik sponge, and I'm just spraying some um, rose water on it. I'm just going to take her and blend this out. You see how, like, that little bit of, like, concealer just kind of brightens it up, and you really can't see it. And that's why I like the Fenty Beauty one because I feel like Fenty Beauty has kind of like, like I feel like the essence behind Fenty Beauty is to make makeup that looks like skin. So I feel like all of their products blend down into a very skin-like finish. So that's the reason why I like to use the concealer because I just feel like it blends the best into my skin. You know, that SPF is not so bad, honestly. But it does leave a little bit of a cast. I still kind of see that cast on my forehead a little. But it's not so bad. Um, especially, like, once I put, like, the little concealers and stuff on my face. So once I'm done with that, like, I have some blemishes. I don't know why I'm breaking out so bad. I'm not breaking out bad. But I have, like, this little pimple that's right here. I have, like, small little breakouts, like, on my cheek. And I don't know why. So I'm just going to take this and just go over like any dark marks that I have on my face. Mm, I think I should. Yeah. I think that's it. And I'm just going to take that same sponge. I'm going to blend those out. Like, I still let my blemishes show. I just, you know, hide them a little bit. And then I take a little and some of my forehead and some down the bridge of my nose. And that's it for um, the concealer. Now to set everything, I'm going to take my makeup, um, my MAC Dark Deep Skin Finish, uh, Mineralized Skin Finish, and I'm just going to take that on a Juvia's Place brush, and I'm going to dab and dab it under my eye. Like, literally the smallest amount. I 
and then I'm going to take my bronzer, um, my Fenty Beauty bronzer, and I'm going to take my BH Cosmetic brush, and I'm going to warm up my cheeks. I do this type of foundation, like not foundation, but this routine, like when I'm on vacation or like if I'm going to the airport and I feel like, you know, I want to take a picture, like an airport picture or something like that, but I don't want to look like, you know, I'm done, done up. I'll just do this, take a little, to that, I take my blush. This is NARS Lovejoy, yeah, NARS Lovejoy. Um, I bring the blush all the way into my cheeks. Gives me like a really like rosy. And then I go in with Becca's Lantana, which is like a burnt orange. And I'm gonna take just a little bit of that and put it on my cheeks. Once I'm done with that, um, the next thing that I do is I just briefly, like briefly, briefly, um, go in with my brows. This is the Anastasia um, Beverly Hills Brow Pencil in Dark Brown. I literally take a little bit and just line out my brows. I, this is not even, I don't even try to make this like perfect. I just want it to look fuller than it naturally does okay now sometimes i i would like outline my brows but a lot of times i don't <laughs> but i feel like when you outline your brows that's when it actually looks like done um like you know like you actually did your brows so now i'm going to take a little bit of brow gel anastasia beverly hills brow gel and i'm going to just brush the brows up And then I just go in with mascara. This I'm using the L'Oreal Double Extend um, Mascara. I like this mascara when I'm not wearing, I don't know where this pimple came from, it hurts too. But um, I usually, I wear this mascara when I'm not wearing like any falsies or anything. So you take the white side, I'm pretty sure if any everybody knows about this. I've been using this for, I used to use this a long time ago and then I stopped. But you use the white side, which basically extends your lashes and adds on like lash fibers. And then when you put on the actual like mascara, your lashes look super long. So I'm going to do one side just so you guys can see the difference. I feel like I'm supposed to let it dry or something. I don't remember. So there's that. Hopefully you guys are able to see a difference. I don't have long lashes, so <laughs> I can see the difference for me, but you probably can't because I really don't have long lashes. Okay, then for lips, I just add a little bit of liner. just the slightest bit like not too much and i kind of like blend it in and then i take some gloss spray my face using rose water and this is usually what gives it like that nice like natural glow I'm just gonna dab it all in with my beauty blender all right so that's it literally that's pretty much it for my no makeup makeup um it really takes like five minutes it it took longer because i'm like recording but it literally takes no more than five minutes to get this done and get out the door so you know you look awake you don't look like you just woke up but at the same time like I don't know if it's translating as well as it is in person 
as it is on camera but it definitely does look like you know like yeah I put on a little mascara I may have some makeup on but it does not look like makeup especially because there's still a very like healthy natural shine to it um so yeah I feel like this works great for um if you are if you want to go to the gym if you're somebody who likes to go to the if you just want to look awake and look fresh if you want to go to the gym and wear a little makeup to the gym if you're that type of person do that first day of school or something like that you just want to do a little like refresh glow i feel like this works for it if you're going to the airport or you know even interviews i've worn makeup like this in interviews multiple times i've even worn makeup like this to photo shoots sometimes but like a little bit more intense than this but i usually don't wear a lot of foundation especially if i'm on a time crunch i don't wear foundation at all i'll just put concealer and powder um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, then give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one.